what is my view on the panspermia theory? What is panspermia? Panspermia is the idea that uh, that space, that life basically originates in space itself. It is the hypothesis that microscopic life is present in large quantities in interstellar space, in, in basically on space dust, on comets, on asteroids, and, and life can even be transmitted through spacecraft, microscopic life. If you have microorganisms that humans, because we know that there are microorganisms on our skin. Now, if we are uh, constructing a spacecraft, it will be handled with human hands, right? And then if you send it to the moon or to Mars, those microbes, those microorganisms from Earth will end up on Mars. So there is another means by which uh, microorganisms can go across planets. So this can happen through spacecraft. It is believed that this, according to this hypothesis, it is believed that such microscopic life occurs across the universe, across galaxies. And we know that there are certain microorganisms on the earth, such as tardigrades, for example, the so-called water bears, that are almost indestructible. They can survive the vacuum of space. And therefore, there could be other such organisms as well, extremophiles. So this is the hypothesis, panspermia, that life actually is seeded through these, uh, through either cometary impacts or asteroid impacts or just via space dust. And maybe the seeds for life, these microscopic seeds for life, they may occur across the universe. So it is a hypothesis. It hasn't been proved, but well, it's certainly a viable hypothesis because we do find uh, evidence of uh, of organic hydrocarbons, complex organic hydrocarbons, even amino acids on uh, on meteors, on meteorites. And uh, if you look at the spectral composition of comets, you, you see that there is uh, carbon chemistry there as well. So it is definitely a viable hypothesis. There is no proof for it thus far, but it's definitely possible. We've even found a Mars rock that seems to contain fossilized microorganisms. It's not been proven conclusively, but it does look tantalizingly like uh, the fossilized remains of a microorganism, of a bacterium of some kind. So it's definitely possible that space rocks from Mars could have reached the Earth in the early phase of the solar system. And if there was life on Mars, it could have been uh, transferred to the Earth. And maybe there was life even before our solar system came into existence and that was present in the uh, building blocks of our solar system. So these are all possibilities. There is no proof thus far, but it's definitely a viable theory. And maybe the maybe our DNA came from somewhere else. Even that is a possibility. So, so it's a hypothesis. It's not been proven, but it's definitely scientifically valid. So as of today, we don't have any evidence for it, but we are searching for it. If we actually find some microorganisms on a comet or an asteroid or elsewhere, then it would definitely bolster this hypothesis and make it more likely or more probable.